loves a good deal. <laughs> who, well, who doesn't love a good deal? Let's make a deal. Especially when it comes to high-end products, but would you jump in a dumpster for brands like Chanel, maybe some Prada or Gucci? Yeah, well, <laughs> you're not alone. A lot of beauty bloggers are taking this plunge into the dumpster. Take a look. <laughs> So far, we have two boxes full of stuff. One store's trash is another girl's treasure. This is my favorite one. A once secret society of beauty divas diving into dumpsters for free swag is growing in numbers. It used to be so underground, but it is trending now. It's out. Everybody knows about it now. These savvy scavengers find everything from hair products. So this is shampoo, conditioner, brand new, fill to the top. To designer perfumes and everything in between. Mascara, lipsticks, and lip glosses. Some dumpster dwellers claim to have hauled over $6,000 worth of merchandise in one dive. My most successful dive was literally from me just lifting it up and like gasping at how many products were in there. A lot of the items had been used or damaged. It was just missing a little, so I'm assuming that that's why they threw it away. But they don't seem to care when they are saving moolah. He's a 30 dollars each. It's all about the hunt for these obsessed beauty vloggers. I go diving probably four times a week. Many admit that part of it is just the thrill of finding expensive products. They cute, just not cute enough for me to buy them. To find them in the dumpster, that's cute. But is it really cute or is it just gross? Okay, so this is my opinion. I'm all for a good deal, and I know this is a medical show and we're physicians, so we try to use, you know, big fancy words, but let's call it what it is. Like, this is nasty. Like, <laughs> that is nasty. And if you are going to submerge yourself in a large container intended to hold trash that is never sanitized or clean, yeah, and, I mean, and all this other stuff, just be prepared to catch an illness or get stuck by a needle or get conjunctivitis. Well, like, the, these are your the eyes. The irony that you are actually wanting to look beautiful and you are willing <laughs> to get yourself good. covered in feces in order to look great, right? I mean, isn't it illegal to dumpster dive? Some places. Well, I'm, in and these California. And bloggers actually go to places where it's not, uh, they're not going to get in trouble. So they actually seek out the beauty stores, but they also know where they're not going to get arrested for doing yeah, so. Some dumpster areas are locked up and there's a sign, no trespassing. Yeah. I think no it, as long as you know what you're getting yourself into, I don't have a problem with it. I do think there's some risks, obviously, because you don't, not only do you not know who's used it or what's in there, but the other big thing is you might think, oh, well, this is, look at this shampoo, and it turns out someone stored fertilizer in there, then you put it in your hair and it falls out the next day. That's, that's not good. That can happen. It can, and another thing is sometimes people sell this stuff. And so they'll clean it with alcohol swabs. So people really overestimate the power of an alcohol swab. Yeah, they do. So yeah, they clean it with alcohol and then they sell it to other people who don't know that they're getting trash can makeup. <laughs> My big concern, and I think we alluded to it, and this comes more from the medical experience, is all it takes is one time you dive into a dumpster and yeah, a needle gets lodged in your foot. And you don't know. And so then yes. you're sitting there, well, was this the needle of someone who has a communicable disease? Hepatitis, HIV, list goes on and on. Is this, now what do I do? Then you have to go potentially to the hospital and you're spending thousands of dollars on potential treatments in case there was a bloodborne pathogen. I, that's always been one of my big concerns because you just don't know what's in there. So just, if, if you do this, just be aware of the potential dangers.